Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Susan Brown, director of the Center for Better Bones. Right away, I wanna wish you a happy new year, a happy and healthful new year. I know we're planning lots of fascinating things at the Center for Better Bones in Exercise Evolution for 2019. I hope you join us and we all have a successful year of growth and happiness. Gina just yesterday posted on Exercise Evolution about intention setting, rest and restoration. I'm gonna follow up on that just a little. And in fact, I'm gonna talk about one of my favorite intentions for 2019, which is to greatly, very greatly appreciate my own body. And talk a bit about the wonders of you and the power of your intention. You know, Albert Einstein had a statement I really loved that he said there's two ways to look at the world. One, you could consider that nothing is a miracle, or two, you could consider that everything is a miracle. When I look at the human body, I'm convinced that everything is a miracle, and that's the path I'm going to take. In fact, I often say I wish I could be intelligent, just as intelligent as my human body. I wish my personality could be as smart as my human body. If you think about it, we have perhaps 75 to 100 trillion cells in this body, more cells, 75 times more cells in our body than there are stars in the Milky Way, and that each one of those cells knows what every other cell is doing. It's an amazing network of information and intelligence. In fact, my body is a field of information and intelligence. Each cell knows what each other cell is doing, and within the body, perhaps a trillion reactions occur just in one single second. I appreciate this amazing field of intelligence, and it's my intention to make my personality as smart as my body, as near as much as I can. If we look at this another way, we see that the body also has an amazing capacity for self-repair. We know that if we break a bone, we heal. If we cut our skin, we heal. But every day, in every single cell, there can be up to 100,000 breaks in the DNA. These are breaks that could be extremely, could, could be life-threatening, but the body automatically corrects those breaks. If you think about it, trillions of cells, 100,000 breaks a day, that's a lot of repair work. It should be easy to maintain healthy bones with everything else that the body can do spontaneously. If we look at human sense perception, again, it's a cause for wonder. The human eye can distinguish 10 million different colors, the scientists say. And it's so sensitive that if the earth were flat, we could see a candle at 18 miles. So refined is our perception. Our hearing, we can hear perhaps a million, a half a million different tones. And our sense of touch is so great that we could actually feel something the depth of a single layer of, of skin cell. As far as taste, we have 10,000 taste buds. I like that idea. I'm gonna see if I can experience every one of those with many different flavors this year. This year, we're going to be pay attention to the magic of the human body and to be understanding better the human body, how to become as intelligent as our body. And one way to do this is through our intention and our attention. In Ayurveda, this ancient science of Ayurveda, which I'm talking about all year long, they say that what we put our attention on grows stronger in our life. If we want to be an excellent mother, we put attention on being a mother. If I want to be a great writer, I put attention on this. And I'm sure you've seen it in your whole life. So now we're thinking about what do we want to put our intention on and our attention on for this coming year. Talking about Ayurveda, I'll remind you that we're going to have the next uh, Love Your Bones, Love Your Life retreat at an Ayurvedic center in Pennsylvania. It's gonna be a wonderful opportunity to learn the Better Bones program deeply and to fulfill these intentions that you might be establishing today for your very own health. What you put your attention on grows stronger. Awareness, that level of awareness, that level of a thought, of an idea, causes energy to flow, and energy flowing has an impact on the body. The awareness can be mental, it can be a thought. I want to improve my bone health this year, or I want to gain muscle mass, or I want to get stronger. It can be emotional. I feel well when I'm kind to others, and I want to cultivate that feeling. It can be spiritual in relation to the many ways we connect to source and our desire to, to be more in contact with source. Certainly as I write, 
I want to be in contact with source. I want all that intelligence that rules the universe to flow right through me when I write things that might be useful to you. Awareness is a very powerful tool. As they say in Ayurveda, where the mind goes, the energy flows. So as we talk about intention setting, it's good to pay attention to our thoughts. Even if we're vaguely thinking, well, I'm not good enough, or I really can't do that, or I can never stop this bone loss, that's going to have an impact on our body. So we want to be clear about what thoughts we choose to have and more specifically what our intentions are. My intention is to build bone strength. My intention is to be really taking the time to prepare good alkaline meals. You might take a minute yourself to think about what are the intentions you want to establish. And I know Gino really gave you time to do that during the exercise evolution posting that she just did. All of our thoughts, all of our attitudes have an impact on the body. And we want to have great strength. We want to have great physical, mental, spiritual strength. And it all can start with our awareness and our intention. To me, the most wondrous thing of the human body, one of the many wondrous things outside of all those amazing physical things I've mentioned, is the non-material powers of attention, where we flow our attention, where we put our awareness, our intent, that is the focus we have on what we want to accomplish, and our awareness. These are amazing powers. Play around with it. Take this time in this new year when we're all fresh and ready to start to think about what are my intentions. My intentions for my health, my intentions for my family life, my spiritual life, my friendships. If you get a chance, put on your intention list to join us at the Better Bones Retreat. Love your bones, love your life. It's going to be very wonderful. They've, we've given three of them so far, two or three. Everybody loves them. We all learn a lot. It's going to be in Honesdale, Pennsylvania at an Ayurvedic center. And I will help each of you develop your own Better Bones program. In the meantime, we're sailing into 2019. Have a great year. We'll be talking to you very soon.